everybody, hope you're well. Today I'm going to be showing you something a little different because today I'm taking you with me on an adventure. So you may have probably noticed how this channel is backpacking bananas, so it is a travel channel. However, in most circumstances to travel you need money, which is why for the past six months I've been working my butt off saving money and keeping this channel going just through giving my backpacking tips. So I'm so excited that I finally have enough money to jump on a plane again and start exploring again. And of course you're all coming with me on my newest adventures. This first trip is only for the weekend but I really hope you enjoy exploring with us the Hungarian capital of Budapest. Okay. The first stop was Heroes Square. Hossok Ted in <laughs> Hungarian for you. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. That's no problem. <laughs> um, so the first day obviously started out in a beautiful bakery. Lots of yummy baked goods. Which we pretty much became locals to. Then me and Cheryl decided that we'd run through a sprinkler and I fell. I fell. <laughs> she fell <laughs> through the sprinkler. Oh, no. <laughs> We're not entirely sure how it happened, <laughs> but it did. And this is what Cheryl and Tasha thought about it. Then the first stop of the day after the bakery, of course, was the Hungarian Parliament. So here it is from up close. Oh, there's some nice dancing. But it looks so much better from the other side, which is where we went. Woo! It was around now that Christiane realised that she'd lost her sunglasses and she was not happy. Yet. No, I was so unhappy. So we head back to the park. On the metro. Hello, Tishar. Hello. Hello, Diana. And we we are looking for Christiane's glasses. Hey look, there they are! Oh my god! That was very fun! Put them on. Look at her. Oh, oh they're not. She's oh, not I just took a photo. So after the happy time of finding my sunglasses, it was off to Vaj da Hunyad Castle in City Park. We've come into the castle. It's a museum inside. And it's a museum inside. It is. The Museum of Hungarian Agriculture. Lovely. And it's very echoey, isn't it? La 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 la! Oh, what's around this corner? And oh. even though it was a museum, there wasn't a lot going on. No! We are now in Magya Mezogaz Dazagi Museum and it's inside the castle which I believe is called like the Ver... The Vajda Hunyad, Christian. It's some castle beginning with V and it's in Hungary. Vajda Hunyad. Look at it. It's amazing and I feel like I need to be quiet because everything that I say echoes really loud. It's awesome. It was awesome. I don't lie. Oh, that is a nice. Good walk. Nice walk. Yee! <laughs> Good one, Chess. Making some traditional Hungarian music here. Yeah. We are pros. Good one, girls. That was really nice. <laughs> and then we came out of the castle. <laughs> Cheryl just standing there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, this was bloody scary. It was very scary. Yeah, that it was. It was like walking on a gymnastics beam. Deanna was very slow, but she made it in the end. Yeah! <laughs> it was a tense time. It was a tense time. Calmed down by a nice cocktail and coffee break. Until we skipped along to Fisherman's Bastion. I 
think this was my favourite place in Budapest. It was just absolutely stunning. Definitely recommend going here in the evening. We were there at sunset and it was just absolutely beautiful. And then you see Budapest light up. And it's really cool. So cool that you you just have to dance. (laughs) So what a fantastic end to the evening. But we were starving! So we had to run to go get food. And then came day two, and we were going up the Castle Hill Funicular. A Margit. We were going up to Buda Castle. So Buda Castle was great, but we then thought, I wonder what's underneath this castle? 